hey everyone welcome to child tech and in this video we'll be looking at uh, may june 2018 the first variant i'm looking at the first variant and we'll be looking at the mail match we've looked at document production it's right there on my youtube channel you want to give it give it a spin but right here we'll be looking at the mail match which is together with document production we we'll are looking at the mail match in um, the, uh, the ICT, um, IGCSE ICT uh, course code is the 0417 and 21, which is the first variant, okay? And um, we'll be heading straight to it. Okay. Uh, yes, mail match. Tax 4. You're required to carry out a mail merge to send out interviews information. That's what you're required to do, to carry out a mail merge to send out interview information. Create a mail merge document using the file um, J218CK uh, list. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick pause so that I'm going to locate the master file and the data source. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and um, yeah, five split seconds, okay? So, um, so we're using the, we, we're going to create a mail document using the J218 CK list, so we're just going to look for it, um, the CK list, yes, this is it, we're just going to open it, which is a master document, um, we're going to open it, um, enable editing, okay, so we have this, okay, this is looking okay, um, just going to make it last like this. Okay. Let's go back to the question. And um, the master document, J218 data.csv. Now, it will be a good part to just take a sneak peek on the data you just want to go, uh, you just want to, uh, you just going to merge. Just look at how it is, what is expected of you. It gives you an idea to know um, just what you're looking at. Okay. Um, I, I see family name, first name, course, the faculty, uh, the course tutor, um, the day, the interview date, the interview date, interview date, interview day, and the interview date, the interview time, and the interview, the interviewer, and finally, the site for the interview. So we have an idea of what we are working with and the idea of just taking a sneak peek is just to see what you're working with and just try to um sneak just take a sneak peek on it it's okay okay this is what it is and then we can now go back and we have done that so we're not actually saving anything right and we're just going to say don't save and we can go back to this to say okay now replace the date okay in the header of the document with the field to display today date in the format DDMMYY. So we have 2D, we have 2M, and we have 2Y. So let's let's get to it. Um, now the one thing you can do is you can double click on this, and automatically it's going to open the header and footer. Or you can just go to your um, and then you can just click on the header aspect. You can click on edit header. And you can have it here. So there are two ways you can actually do this. Double click, and you go to or you go to your insert tab, um, edit the header, and you have it here. Okay. All right. So next, I'm going to do and in mail merge. I've also been talking about the idea of you ensuring that you don't overspace. Okay. And that's why when it comes to mail merge, it is it is very very essential that you make use of your arrow keys. So I'm just going to hold hold on my shift and my arrow key right. To ensure that I'm only alighting only that field without taking an extra space okay it's going to be very important especially when we have um more than one fields that we're going to uh, replace okay all right so i'm just going to click on um insert um we need today's date so i'm just going to click on the quick part click on the field because remember they said uh, with a field to display okay so i'm just going to go to date and then i'm going to look for the one they want okay i'm just going to search for it dd remember they said dd mm yes 
this is it right it has d d m m y y m m y y okay so i'm just going to click on okay and there i have it okay and uh, moving on enter your name center number kind of number in the footer of the document so um okay so i'm just going to close this uh click on insert then click on header and click on the three columns and now they did not specify if it's going to be on the right align or left align or center align you just said ensure you just enter your name the center number attendant number in the footer of the document okay so i have this so i'm just going to enter my name here the child and the um my center number which is ng064 which is the center number that i've been assigned for the school i'm currently working in uh which is um Edward College, um, located right here in Lagos, Lekki, Phase 1, the heart of Lekki, yeah. Okay, I have a um, candidate number, I'm not a student, and I do not have a candidate number, but obviously as students, you'll be given a candidate number, and you're expected to insert your candidate number there. But for me, I'm going to use 2023, yes, okay, 2023. Um, okay, so I have it right there in the footer, um, okay. Take a screenshot evidence showing the date field code and you have to place this in your evidence document. So we're taking a screenshot ev um, um, evidence showing the date field code. So what we are going to do right now, because they want to see it, is we can click on the file tab, click on more, click on options, click on advanced, scroll down to show document to say show field codes instead of their values right here on show document content click on ok and then we have it we see this here and this is a screenshot that we want to take but for this is going to be very blurry so i'm just going to click on the insert uh, on the header here i'll click on edit header and i want to take a screenshot of this okay so i'm just going to um click on the windows icon um search for snipe snipping tool click on ok click here click on new and i'm just going to take a snipe at this okay so um we're just going to paste this on our evidence document so i'm just going to um okay so i'm just going to open it uh, my evidence document okay here it is and i'll paste it in evidence 10 i think that's what they want evidence 9 rather so i'm just going to paste it here nope so obviously it's here I'm just going to um Just, just going to copy it. Yep, copy. And I'll paste it here. Good, this is what I want, okay? Um, actually, I can do crop on it. Just to copy it. Okay. Okay. So, um, anything here? I can also do this. Um, okay. So I have it here. Um, okay. I can just, I can just leave it here. It's fine. Um, okay. So we have done that. So we have this. Two max on the control. For 29, in the master document, maintain um, the existing spacing and punctuation and replace the chevron and text each time they appear with the following match fields from the data source okay that's what we, we want to do okay so let's get to work okay so we are um 
obviously going to be playing the first with the first name, the last with the, la with the family name. So we have the data to replace. All these are called the data to be replaced, and these are being replaced with a field. Okay, so we have the last as family. So let's take it one step at a time. So the first thing we're going to do right here is we are going to uh, go to our mailing tab and we're going to start a mail match. Okay, so we're going to go click on step by step mail match wizard and then we'll click on the next um, starting document and the next one is to select recipient list and we're going to click on browse to look for it um, what I'm going to do is I think you see it here just want to be sure that just go back to the question and then look for it um, J218 okay yes this is it so i click on it and i click on open it's going to be here yes this is it this is definitely it yes okay <laughs> now we'll click on um the we'll click on okay and then we have it right here so uh we'll start um replacing it with this uh, data to be replaced with the fields and um like i've always uh, said um, always be careful when, when you're trying to replace the data. You want to hold on your shift and your arrow right to just ensure that the appropriate spacing and punctuations are being maintained. Okay, so you click on insert mail field and we'll select first name. Done. Obviously, it's showing all this. So, what I'm going to do is um, I'll click on file, click on more, click on options. Click on advance, then go back to show document content and uncheck this. Okay. Click on OK. And we have this. Okay. We'll come here to last. And this means family name. Okay. And let's go ahead. Um, department means faculty. So it's important that you just go through it. Um, Okay, means faculty. Okay, um, the course means course. Inside the merge, the merge field. And tutor means course tutor. Appointment for day, appointment for day talks about interview day, day. Induction interview. Talking about date, that means interview date. Okay. The time is interview time. The staff means interviewer. The room means site. Okay, anything else missing? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now, spell check and to free the checklist. I've seen some errors already, so I'm just going to check it. Um, 
I'm going to go to review spellings and grammar. There are some spellings here. It means following, current, and those are the two things that have been 100% score. And um, so we have spell check and proofread the checklist. Um, save and print your master document with the merit fields displayed. Okay. So um, I'm going to click on file, click on more, click on options, click on advanced. Click on OK. Okay, so we're going to print it. What they said, make sure your your you have entered your name, center number, candidate number, or your master document. So we're good. We have done that. So we're just going to print this. Click on file. Click on print. And they want to see all this. As a matter of fact. Yeah, with the mesh field displayed. So they want to see all this. Okay, so click on file, click on print. So we have them here, and with the corrections affected, and we're just going to click on print. I want to be sure it is where it's meant to be. Um, I think so. But let me be sure. Uh, yes. So I have a um, printout four. So I'm just going to copy this. So printout four. See if it's a PDF. I wish I've been seeing time and time again. It's important that you do it as PDF so that it's easier to look how your work is going to look like before sending it to the printer. Okay. Um, moving on. Now, set an automated filter to select only interviews where the interview day is Monday and the interview time is after 13 o'clock. Okay, so let's do that. Um, so right here we come to, you can actually do it here. Um, no biggie. Um, you can actually do edit recipient list or you can come to mailings and you click edit recipient list. Whichever one that you want to do, which, whichever one tickets you fancy. Okay, so um, so we have this. I will we'll come to filter um, interview days Monday. It's Monday. The next one is interview time. Now it said it's after one o'clock. So it's not equals to, but it's greater than. Okay. Um, we have 13 o'clock. Okay. So we have this. And we can click on OK. And then we have just three of them that is after 13 o'clock. OK. All right. Um, so we have this here. And then we'll click on OK. OK. Um, moving on. Now, take screenshot evidence showing your automated filter. Place this screenshot in your evidence document. We have to take a screenshot of this, guys. So we'll click on edit document, we'll click on filter. They want to see this, okay? Very, very important that they see this, okay? So I'm just going to take um, a snippet, it, new, and I'm going to select this. Okay? Um, this will be evidence 10. Close this, okay. So this will be in evidence 10. I'm just going to paste it here. And, um, 
just going to edit crop this crop it here crop it crop it now it is important I, I do the two of them to actually show them right uh, if you obviously look at the math scheme you see that what they want to see is just this but for me you, you, you won't have a markdown right because I just opened the two of them and I want my examiner to be able to see this you're not going to get any subtraction of math because obviously you're just doing what they want to see okay um, okay so um, now you have to match so we are done with this now you have to match and print the document for the selected interviews only. They make sure you, make sure that you have your name, center number, candidate number on the document. Now, when they keep emphasizing on this, you have to check it that your name, your center number, and your candidate number are on the document. Okay, so we're just going to merge it. So we can do merge and finish, and we go for printing. Obviously, we want to do all of them, but if to do that, we can do a review result to see how it looks like and uh, we can do review with results let me go to file go to more go to options go to advance show document and I'm just going to quickly uncheck this yes okay and I can do a preview result and you can see we have just um, three on it, okay? So I'm just going to merge to print all of them, printing in PDF, and uh, we have it as printout five. And once that is done, you can always check to see that you have, it has your name and uh, center number, candidate number on every part of the document okay save and close the file now obviously we have a question we are going to answer now they said the data from the skill checklist is entered into a database manually by the university staff okay the university is considering changing this to an online form to be completed by new applicants now they said discuss in your own words Advantages and disadvantages to the applicants of using an online form for this task. I'm just going to do a quick pause to type them all out. I'm going to explain. I'm just going to explain afterwards. Okay, so I've, I've taken my time to be able to um, put down the advantages and disadvantages to the applicants of using the online form for this task because what they simply want is data from this skill checklist. Um, is entered usually uh, to the database manually by the staff. Now they want to change it to the online form so that the applicants, the inter people who are coming for interviews can um, complete it themselves. Okay, so um, we have to look at the advantages and disadvantages to the applicants using it to complete your online form for the staff. Okay, so um, obviously when we look at the advantages, um, there are less chances of errors because it is the applicant that is entering their own information, right? As opposed to imputing it by university employees, which is a very fantastic advantage. It is easier to fix mistakes uh, on an online form than on people form because you, here is the problem about making mistakes because if you make mistakes on the paper form, obviously you either have to get a new one Right, if you either have to get a new one or probably you have to use tippers on the likes of this. But in an online form, if you make a mistake, you can actually go back and edit it and make modifications to those um, informations that you have imputed. Okay, so since the applicant entered the information online, there is no need to remember to bring the form to the in interview. You don't, you don't, you don't actually need to bring the form to the interview because already your informations are online. Okay, and people with disabilities. Okay, um, it becomes an accessible tool for them. You have one issue or the other, it becomes very accessible for them. Okay, now for disadvantages, uh, um, we, we see um, the lack of computers or software 
right and that becomes that, that becomes a disadvantage because of candidates cannot complete an online form uh, if they don't have a computer or you don't have the software used to actually uh, for example you don't have a, uh, a word processor installed on their laptop they don't have a computer then they find it difficult they find it difficult in completing that task um, completing the form online the second one becomes um, some applicants actually lack that IT skill and if you're lacking the IT skill it means you cannot complete that form online so because you need to know how to be able to connect your laptop to the internet how you need to be able to download it or extract it as the case may be and how you need to use those softwares to actually uh, key in your information online okay um, is it something you have to download and type in and upload or something you have to type it online okay uh, because some applicants lack internet connectivity uh, they cannot access an online form okay that becomes um, another challenge because they lack access to what connect internet connectivity if you don't have access to internet connectivity obviously this information uh, or this um, online because it is an online According to the question, yeah, there is an online form, so obviously all the information is going to be typed, will be provided uh, by the uh, applicants keying those information online. So that means if you don't have um, an internet connection, you cannot be able to access the online form. Take a good example of your Google form. The Google form is a good example of an online form. So it means that if you don't have that internet connectivity, you cannot be able to provide those information on that form. Okay, and another one is it increases the risk of data loss due to electronic data transmission. Yes, data can be lost, especially if probably you're typing it and your internet is fluctuating. Those information may not be submitted properly or something happens to your uh, device or whatever. You know, a lot of things can um, increase the risk of data loss due to the transmission of that. Okay. Increase the danger of unauthorized access to personal information due to electronic data trans, uh, transmission. Those informations are online. It means people can hack their way to it to access your personal information. And that becomes um, one of the security IT concerns that we have. Okay. Given that data is stored digitally, there may be difficulty with data protection. Yes, your information is stored digitally. It means anybody can have access to those information. And that becomes a concern okay so those are just and remember guys is formats and obviously you can just see two of the advantage and two of disadvantage or three of advantage one advantage three disadvantages whichever one but it's format so thank you so much for uh we've been able to complete this moment and please do want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more igcse questions as we begin to arrive on all of them